dear students in this section we are going to discuss about electric flux let us consider uniform electric field what is the uniform electric field you can observe here this is the uniform electric field why because electric field lines are parallel first point and second point electric field lines are equally spaced so we call this electric field is uniform electric field correct now let us place a rectangular surface in the path of electric field lines like this you can observe this surface is having area a this rectangular surface is having area a and you can say the area vector of this surface and electric field is parallel or you can say the surface is perpendicular to the electric field the number of the lines per unit area we call this term as the electric field line density you know it this term electric field line density is proportional to the magnitude of electric field so here we can write here rho is proportional to e this rho is electric field line density let us multiply this term electric field line density with area of the surface let us write this term electric field line density multiplied by area this area is capital a so let us multiply capital a on the both side of this equation so this equation will become rho multiplied by a proportional to e multiplied by a. here rho is equal to number of the field lines per unit area and we multiplied by area so this term rho multiplied by a will become number of the electric field lines so here we can say total number of the field lines penetrating the surface is proportional to product e multiplied by a this product that the magnitude of electric field that is e and surface area a which is perpendicular to the electric field is called the electric flux we call e multiplied by a is electric flux so here we can write flux is proportional to number of the field lines divided by area and multiplied by area. this area is nothing but perpendicular area this is perpendicular to the electric field so here we can cancel out area with the area like this and now we left with the term number of electric field lines what we can say electric flux is proportional to number of the electric field lines penetrating some surface let us generalize this case let us place now same rectangular surface but not perpendicular to the electric field but inclined certain angle with the electric field lines let us call this surface s area a let us make this surface again and you know electric field is horizontal here this is e and area vector is perpendicular to the surface so we can make the area vector like this and let us define this angle is theta we define equation phi equal to e perpendicular multiplied by a e perpendicular was nothing but electric field component perpendicular to the area vector and here you can observe this surface is not perpendicular to the electric field so one thing we can do we can make the projection of this area on the vertical plane in this way that vertical projected area will become perpendicular to the electric field lines so let us make the vertical projection of this surface like this you can observe this is the vertical projection you can say this angle about this angle let us discuss first you can observe here that is the area vector here is making angle theta with the horizontal and area vector and surface both are perpendicular that means the surface should make angle theta with the vertical that's why we have written this angle as theta so now come to the main point Uh, let us make this projection on the vertical plane separately this is the vertical projection of surfaces let us call this area vector as av that is projection of a on vertical plane we have made the vertical projection and we know this angle is theta and this area is a so this area should be equal to a cos theta now we made the vertical projection let us come to the horizontal projection horizontal projection here you can observe here this will be the horizontal projection let us make this horizontal projection separately like this okay 
and this is the direction of the area vector because area vector is perpendicular to the surface so it is in the upward direction so let us write this as a horizontal projection and magnitude of this horizontal projection should be equal to this is a this angle is theta so this is equal to a sin theta now let us make this whole diagram separately observe the horizontal projection of this area that is uh, a sin theta here and we can say no lines are crossing this surface that means the flux associated with this surface should be zero this flux now come to the vertical projection here is the vertical projection you can observe here this area is a cos theta and electric field is e so according to our simple definition flux equal to e perpendicular multiplied by a so here we can say this flux that is the flux passing through this vertical projection should be equal to e a cos theta now we know total electric field lines crossing any surface is proportional to the flux and here we can simply observe the number of lines crossing this inclined surface and number of the lines crossing the vertical projections are equal okay so we can say the flux associated with these two, two surfaces should also be same right now we can say the flux associated with this inclined surface should also be equal to phi equal to e a cos theta now we got the definition of the flux and formula of the flux so let us make the statement more generalized let us draw this diagram again this is the direction of electric field and this is the direction of area vector and this angle is theta so here we can say the flux associated with this surface equal to e a cos theta and we know e is a vector quantity area vector is also vector quantity and here the angle between these two vector is theta so we can write the electric flux as the scalar product that is the dot product of the electric field vector and area vector so we can write the equation phi equal to e dot a let us consider a curved surface as in non uniform electric field this surface s is placed in non uniform electric field here in this situation we cannot calculate the electric flux by using the formula directly we know the formula phi equal to e dot a so here we can say this formula is not applicable directly as the angle between the electric field vector and area vector is not constant throughout the surface we can observe here let us take this patch here and draw the area vector d a1 and if we draw the tangent here to this electric field line this is the electric field line similarly let us take another patch draw the same vectors another patch draw the same vector and here also another patch draw the same vectors you can observe here the angle between the electric field vector and area vector at different point on the surface is not constant so formula is not applicable directly so here we left with the method that is the method of integration so let us do one thing let us consider one element and define the angle between the area vector and electric field let us define this element and write here this angle is theta at this position electric field e and uh, area vector d a1 is making angle theta so here we can define the flux for this element d phi equal to e d a cos theta and total flux what we do in the method of integration we integrate over the limit so here we integrate over the surface so we here we can write here phi equal to integration of d phi so we need to place the integral sign on the both side like this so this will define the total flux through this surface correct now let us discuss the flux of a closed surface and let us take some elements on the closed surface and define the area vector for this element as d a delta a and electric field you know this is in this direction so we have drawn the electric field vector like this so let us take one more element 
and here we can say this angle is theta and less than 90 degree. Let us take one more element here. You can observe here electric field vector E and area vector here is making angle 90 degree. Let us make one more element electric field in the right direction and area vector is perpendicular to this element. So, delta A is here, this angle theta and you know this angle is uh, greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Now, consider the first element here. You can observe here, the electric field lines are crossing the surface from inside to outside. You can say electric field lines are moving away from the surface. So, we call this flux as a outward flux and we know this theta is less than 90 degree and we defined flux equal to E A cos theta and theta is less than 90 degree that means cos theta is positive. So, this flux at this position should be positive and what we call this flux as a outward flux. This is the outward flux. Come to second element, this is the second element here and here electric field lines are grazing the surface. So, flux here is 0 because cos 90 equal to 0. Now, come to the third surface, the electric field lines are crossing the surface from outside to inside that is incoming flux. So, here we can observe here this angle greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. So, flux here should be negative and this is called the inward flux that is the incoming flux. So, from this diagram we can say outward flux is positive and inward flux is negative. Now, write the formula for the flux. We can write the formula for the closed surface phi equal to integral E dot d. And here you can observe we have used a special symbol here and this symbol is called the closed surface integral. This is the closed surface integral. Now, the net flux through the surface is proportional to the number of the electric field lines crossing the surface. If some lines are coming toward the surface, any closed surface and some lines are moving away from the surface. So, we can say that is the net field lines is the number of the lines leaving the surface minus number of the lines entering the surface. That is equal to difference of the outgoing and inward flux. 